I thought you were always well prepared. Okay. Why do you why do you need electrical tape? To put it back together. Could I just straight solder it without solder? Well, do you not have any heat shrink? Yeah, because I'm not gonna have heat. I'm gonna have. No, I don't. <laughs> I have heat shrink. That like really a... helps Patrick right now. Yeah, so where do you get a heat shrink? Like in person? I bought it at a uh, hardware store. You can get it at bought... a hardware store, Lowe's, like yeah, I, I Walmart. Got it. No, you you can't. It's hard you to find get it at heat Walmart. You can get heat shrink at Walmart. You can, but it's hard to find. Not all WalMarts carry it because I've looked. Home Depot's closed. I got mine at a Menards because I also needed solder. But I made a mistake of getting solder used for plumbing applications. Ooh, uh, so you got non lead core. Well, it also has a raw. It also has a flux core. Oh, that's not well, you too can bad. Clean, you can clean but, the flux. That's not hard. No, no, but it. I'm it's, thoroughly impressed by all of you right now. Okay, the gauge. <laughs> the gauge on it is also twice what normal solder is. Oh. Okay. So. Okay, how the fuck did you not notice? It was the only. It was the. It was the only. Oh, okay. Solder they had. Okay, I see. Okay. Did it? Yeah. Did it work though? I'm. I'm assuming it worked. Yeah, but there's a lot of vapor. Yeah. Oh, high as a kite. I mean, oh. you were literally burning twice as much solder. So. Yeah. So. Now I just steal my roommates. Yeah, I'm not roomed with engineering majors. Well, that's your mistake, isn't it? Honestly, I'd rather not. <laughs> With the people who go to engineering here. That's fair. Huh? They're not are smart. Oh. Okay, well, not all of them here are either. <laughs> I wonder if I could just. I'm not. I'm not exactly at a high tier engineering university. Same. You're not. Yeah. No, not anywhere close. Uh, I mean, we're like top two in the nation for music. But you know, fuck music. <laughs> music. What has music ever done for me? My roommate next semester is a music major. Oh, you're not getting sleep. No, no, it's fine. They have 5 a.m. labs, but that's Why? outside. Why? Why is there a lab for music? Hey, why uh, is there a I lab mean, for music I at 5 a.m.? Like, I feel like music is one of those things that would need a lab. Okay, so here... Okay, we... I digress, you're right. We fluctuate between, like, the top five in the nation for music. We'll go up to like top one occasionally. We used to be a top one a lot. But uh, one of the ways we do that is there are music labs 24-7. Yeah. So if you're unlucky, you could end up having a lab at 1 a.m. in the morning. That's supposed to 1 a.m. in the morning. Damn it, Patrick. I wasn't <laughs> gonna say it. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. The morning was for emphasis. Have you gotten more of an asshole since I last talked to you? I mean, you know, I've just gotten quippier, dude. <laughs> Not to mention he's stressed because he doesn't know what he's doing with his life. Oh, I Fuck! <laughs> oh, he's squares. Oh, totally scarily right. <laughs> um, yo, why do you gotta do that? Because you make me think about shit that I could be doing now. Matt, we have tape. It's not funny, dog. Wait, did you not uh, get any masking tape yet? I couldn't find that crazy shit that you got. No, the the fi the fiberglass. Yeah. I'm just talking about masking tape for like the foam board. What? Uh. Because nope. I use I use masking tape and fiberglass tape. Oh. The fiberglass tape you have to order from Amazon. It's like three dollars. It's not too expensive. The list re I know, I know. I forgot to add it to the list. I apologize. How about a hot glue gun? That's good. But that was... I used bone scissors for a kitchen to strip these wires. As long as you're careful. I did it with the one off the battery, off the uh, ESC already. Trying to do it off the... Can you use a knife to fucking strip the wires for my stereo? Yeah, you can use a knife. I use my teeth. Yeah. I know it's bad for your teeth. Well, you could Ow. use a knife and then your teeth. Patrick, are you okay? That's me trying to strip it with my teeth. Well, yeah, well you cut got, it. You got it. Pre cut. No, it was me. No, I pre cut. I was me trying to pull it off of this, uh, this uh, plastic's very China. China. Remember to eat some. China. 
So I watched one of these videos on the flight test, like the ones where they showed the electronics portion of it. Yeah. They're uh, ECS, very fancy. Or ESC, looks very fancy. Yeah. This one literally just has a sticker that says 38 on it. Yeah. It's good to know. Well, see, they're sponsored. It's also and I'm poor. <laughs> good, so nice. Exactly. That's why the entire plane costs about 136. Minus the non necessities. Like wings. Oh, Curly, oh, I just beat your high score. Okay, the foam board's a dollar. What? Like, on Doom. High key totally got me. Oh, I had a high score? I got Chris I don't know if you've ever played arcade mode, but I've definitely beaten your high score. The game just told me. <laughs> okay, cool. Good, good shit. Is that the same guy? So have you thought about what your what kind of plane you're gonna build first? Nope. Me too, Bob. I'd like to make that bike. <laughs> I I would recommend one Welcome like to trying to make one that flies slowly and has high static stability. So I mean, a medium-sized biplane would be good with wings that have nice dihedral. Uh, what words are you saying? I actually understood all of those. I'm impressed. <laughs> Patrick, teach me. Uh, watch flight test. Yeah, okay. which part? <laughs> All of it. Start All from the it. beginning, please. Professor. I mean, the only real hard part was dihedral, which is the shape. It's uh, the angle that the main wings are at. The fuck is a whole two hedrals? Literally. <laughs> I hate so much, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I personally prefer polyhedral, but multiple oh, multiple hedral. Wow. Fuck off with that tumbler shit, man. <laughs> tumbler shit. Yeah, with the polyhedrals. <laughs> no, no. <Different>. So <laughs> <laughs> all these people coming out as polyhedral. <laughs> God, that's, that's what the funny. fuck is. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> shit. It's like a, it's a gender joke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't know. I'm so, a polyhedral kin. Poly <laughs> Polyhedrals when the wings have multiple angles associated with them. Does that actually show up in the real world? Yeah. It's sample. Every right, plane. Fine. Uh. So, Kevin. Wait. Yeah. Oh, right. Did I introduce to you my Oh, Curly. It's, it's probably not worth yes. it. Do you want to see how bad Doom looks right now? In fact, wait. I get some alligator I twists? Go to the link in the white board. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I know there's quite a few aircraft with polyhedral. So the F4 Phantom. No way. Oh, you, okay, I know. And then, um, what was it? Those classic World War II planes. Uh, the ones that have the downward swept wing is awkward. Works there. It's okay. Yeah, those I call you. Yeah, so just tape those in so they don't connect. So it's funny. Explode. Both planes that you just mentioned are both designated F4. <laughs> what? Yeah, no. both there is no. F4U. No. Shit. I will ab Trish. I will absolutely say it for the switch. This looks great. And the the brief B12 I mean, has that, polyhedral. That's actually the below Valkyrie. where the switch would be resolution wise. Really. Yeah, because that's running at, like, uh, 332p. Jesus. Hey. It's Kevin, like, so I posted a picture of my, uh, no solder nigger rig. Yeah, yeah, I was commenting on it. Oh, where is it? I said, uh, you just fucking I'll just tape off the ends so that they don't fucking short each other. That cup was full! And then I'll like show you... <laughs> so... Dude. This is actually close to what it actually looks like on Switch. The edges, you know first thing I noticed was all the edges got crisper. Yeah, I turn I, I so it's running at like 580p with uh, temporal anti-aliasing. Patrick, you know what I just noticed that bothers me. 
Okay, it's gonna be hard to see because my ESC is already inside my plane. Shit. You're focused on the wrong thing. Okay, so. Alright, Patrick, do you see the wires? Patrick! Yeah, I think he died. Oh shit, that was fast. He, he licks the wire. Maximum <laughs> I'm right back, I gotta get the fucking zip for it. That's hot. Yeah. Extra life acquired. Hey Patrick. What are odds? What? In my box of goodies next to the 20 pack of USB 3.0 to USB 2.0 header converters, I found masking tape. Oh, a hey, Lamau. What is that? So, do, do you notice the wires? Yes. Guess which one's from the ESC? The, the, Overload. guess which servo wire is from the ESC? Uh, is it the very thick one? No, no, I said servo wires. Is it the white? Yes. And then look at the color on your ESC servo wire. What did you do? Nothing, nothing. Mine came like that. What? But we have the same ESC, so it bothers me. <laughs> Why is yours orange and mine is white? How odd. Patrick, both of my ESCs have white servo wires. <laughs> it's like I got a different batch. Extra life acquired. Yeah, because I have two of those ESCs. So my other one looks like this. By the way, this plane will never fly. What plane is it? The one in the second photo. You see how I'm trying to make ribs out of foam? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that the bees lodge? Yeah. What the hell is the end goal? <laughs> well, like, you know, like, classical balsa construction where they put monokai film over balsa oh, like, yeah. fuselage parts? I wanted to make it, but I didn't have balsa, so I was going to use foam. So here's the reason why it'll never fly. <laughs> it can't hold the weight of the motor. But before I attached all the parts to it, it glided really well. Like, I'd toss it and it would hit the wall before dropping like a foot. Huh. You just ate a dude's ass? Huh? Roommate's watching a movie in my room. <laughs> That's the sentence I fucking come back to. Yeah. <laughs> you think I, I fucked thousands of women, you think? <laughs> That's funny as fuck. What are you flying? What is he watching? It's this new movie that came out on Netflix. I'm about to blow up his chihuahua. <laughs> this movie's fantastic. They shot Steve-O earlier in the movie. What? Yeah, Steve-O was like, all right, haha, funny prank. Come on, Knoxville, bring out the cameras. Get shot. What movie is it? Welcome to the What's the name of the movie? Oh, Game Over, man. I started a massive fire. So that was you on the news? No, no, in game. Oh shit. Okay, so. Oh, wait, shit, minute. Ignis is now dead. <laughs> so, Kevin. Ke equip the up. item that fucking fixes that, Kevin. No, 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 I have that equipped. I'm Kevin. in a fight. Ignis died from something else. Oh, okay. So Ke oh, I didn't see the picture of the motor mount. That's, yeah. uh, that's fucked. It couldn't, it couldn't. The, my spar construction couldn't hold the weight. <laughs> so, Which is why I don't expect it to ever fly. So, battery to e ESC. Yeah. And then the ESC's little one with the servo connector. Yeah. Servo connector. Which channel do I plug that in? Channel three. Why? Oh, channel three is the thrust. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's the throttle channel. Yeah. Uh, should I plug in the battery last? 
Yes, because you want your remote to be turned on first. <laughs> uh, okay, where'd my... Okay, and then I'm gonna plug it. So it doesn't matter which of the wires out of the ESC I plug the engine into, or the motor? No, so, um... Uh... You, you'll be able to tell when you try to throw on look. Yeah, it'll be like the wrong direction. Or it will be janky. Like, it will try to spin, but it won't spin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So, okay, so with the re the transmitter, anything I gotta do special on that? Uh, have you binded it to your receiver yet? I already know that they are bound. Wh what? I, t I tested it earlier with a servo. Okay, yeah, yeah, then you're good. Okay, so, Should um, I turn the servo on? Are the transmitter on before I plug in the battery? Yes. Because you want the ESC to... It's like a boot sequence. You want the ESC to have the signal from the transmitter. Trevor, are still here? I have, yes. Um, are you still watching the stream right now? I am, I'm looking at it right now. Did you know you can set the weapon oh, to shit. the center? I did not. But I was wondering why it looked like It's terrifying. I, I gotta say, like, I'm playing the game right now, and it, it it's just like, I'm just playing the game. I don't care, like, how it looks. You know what I mean? Hey, Kevin. Yeah, you just oh, having a fun playing? Is, uh... Yeah, I'm having fun. Is this... Wait, what is it? It's a motor, technically. Right? I, heard, I heard Patrick go, wait, fun? <laughs> no, hold up. This is a motor, right? That's what I would call it? Yes. Like... Okay. <laughs> the spinny bit? Yeah. Yeah, it's a motor. Is this one less powerful than the one you have? It shouldn't be. Okay, because it's not as loud. Oh, the beeping? Yeah. Did you, did you rev it? Uh... Vroom, vroom. My sisters and so, when it was really loud, that was from the 3S being plugged in. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, here. I mean, I'll check to see if it's less powerful. Uh, I mean, maybe the battery actually is at 4 volts. Should it be, though? So, listen. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's see if I can keep full throttle. Why does that sound sad? Because it was sitting on the desk. Let's full throttle. <laughs> Okay. Metal overload. I mean, it doesn't have the propeller on it yet, does it? Nope. So yeah, it doesn't have a load, so I don't really know. I'm, uh... Wait, Patrick, you ordered the load. You ordered, I ordered literally what you meant. Except for the things that didn't come within like a week, but I made sure they were the same one. The... Yeah, because the motor and the ESC you ordered like the the link like the es <coughs> the esc has the the white wires on the servos and it shows that they don't have the the plugs pre soldered interesting except then again looking at the photos they have photos of two different ESCs. <laughs> i mean it's china so like, that's not a good start we number one but uh, yeah, the motor is the same KV. It's oh, an right, because the ESC came with it. You're right, yeah. actually, this is a different one. Um, but the numbers on the side are the same. Like, yeah. V212, 13T, 1000 yeah. KV. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm looking at mine as the A2212. Unfortunately, it's... Oh, hey, it is on the motor. That's yeah, so mine's an A2212, 13T. So it's the same motor. Okay, then I'm not worried. Uh, if there's an issue, it's probably be with the battery. Gotcha. Or the ESC. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, beeping isn't loud on... Oh, okay. 
the 2S batteries with the... Oh, there can be a Cobra in the check. Cobra in the check? I actually prefer the weapons to be in the center. <laughs> what? Do you prefer the weapons to be in the center? Uh, it's... I mean, it's different. It's nostalgic for me. Oh, so, because of the original? Yep. Alright, Patrick, you ready? Okay, yeah, Kevin, I just heard your beep while turning on. Pl plus, you get to see the, um... You get to see the models from a different, like, location, Angle? and they look nice. Here, hold on. No, I, I'm not saying it. just looks off. Shut up for a minute. <laughs> oh, no, no, I kind of agree. It looks... Okay. <laughs> Here's straight up. Fuck you on the top. I heard that. Well, I put the mic right next to it. I, my mic was literally on the motor. Oh, okay, cool. Then they're fine. It's the same thing. Yeah. Um. So another another thing I have a question about is the servos. Yeah. What up? Uh, how China are they? What do you mean? I get the super cheap ones too. So. Okay. The one I hooked up. Like just shoots the cables. Um. What was that? Hold on. Okay. It kinda. It stutters. Yeah. So I occasionally, <laughs> like, out of the ten I've bought. One of them straight up was dead on arrival, but I wasn't about to return it because I bought it as fucking five. I'm not gonna return the entire batch because one's broken. Have you ever used VRB? VRB. The ones at the top, the little knobs. What'd you do? What'd you mean the little knobs? Is he paying? On the transmitter. Oh, uh, no, but I've used the switches. What are the? What would you use the switches for? Uh, so. Labs. Um, yeah, so I I've used the switches for two things. Ooh. Uh you remember the the Delta Wing had the flight controller on it? Yeah. I used the switch to switch between manual and stabilized mode. So pretty much turning off the turning off and on it's like a an SAS switch. Oh okay. Cool. In KSP. Um and I've also used it for mix flapping. Uh, now, as mixing for, flaps. As for the range of motion on them? Should it only be like 25%? What do you mean? Or like, or like a quarter of a circle? No, it should be close to 80 degrees. Okay, that's interesting. Let me check, just to make sure. Let me open up a different one. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to use, at the very least, two. So might as well have two open. <laughs> Fuck, is this Kingsman? Do they show it? Yeah. Oh! Patrick sound like he just saw some shit. Yeah. You can say that. Oh, you know what, Patrick? You're right. It's about 90 degrees. Okay. Should be more, though. Should it? I... I don't know. I mean, maybe they are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've always used these ones, so... I know that you can change it. God. Is it, like, within the transmitter? Oh my... Okay. Yeah, so, by default, the endpoints are set to 100%, 100%, but for some reason, you can go up to 120%. How do you actually... Like... Navigate this fucking transmitter. <laughs> Hello? Kevin? Um, send me a photo of it because your transmitter is different than mine. Also, mine tells me the battery of the plane. Oh, that's fucking cool, really? Yeah, it has TX and RX and there's two battery indicators. Shit, mine has no telemetry functionality. That means you wouldn't even need the, the fucking battery, the voltage checker. Oh good, <laughs> just throw it away. <laughs> well no, return it and get your money oh, yeah, back. Right. I don't think mine has any... I mean it has the buttons for it, but I don't know how to navigate it. Here. <laughs> Look, it's stupid. There, I posted it. Oh! 
found it. You found you it? You have to hold OK. Oh, yours is different. For mine, I have to, I have like a scroll wheel. I have to hold the scroll wheel down to get to settings. Sticks mode. Oh, it's oh, for shit. like left-handed, right-handed. Oh my god. So you'll notice there's reverse, so you can reverse the channels. Yeah, so there's a... Uh... No, the stick smooth it lets you yeah, it lets you change the channels on it. That's kinda cool. So <laughs> like terrifying by the way because I have the the motor hooked up. I never <laughs> fucking <laughs> switched. <laughs> never never reverse the throttle channel. I can imagine why. So I have channel two reverse right now, which is my ailerons because my ailerons Dude, are mode backwards. And mode? Yeah, uh was student mode puts a restriction on the deflection of the sticks because uh, new flyers have a tendency to uh, play in like a video game where you put the like say you pitch all the way up okay Ooh, end but points. like you shouldn't yeah end okay points. so 100 to 100 is what mine are at right now yeah how do you, you can increase it Yes, okay, mine is a scroll. Oh. You can increase it. So, what would I do? 100 to 200? <laughs> uh, no, so the first the first value is the lower bound. Uh-huh. So, uh, like, negative 100%. Oh. Yeah. So, you would increase... Negative? No, I mean, it, the first number is the negative value. Oh. So, I think... Mine only go to 120. Mine go so, to... Yeah, mine go to 120 as well. Yeah, so you just put both to 120. For the lower? Oh, okay. I gotcha. By the way, I have no idea how to switch to my upper bound one. Uh, you hit OK. No, OK brings me out of endpoints. Oh, mine, mine switches. So what for the upper bound what I do well? Oh wait, which channel is? Channel 3 is the throttle. So should I not touch the throttle? Yeah, don't touch the throttle. Channel 1 is ailerons. Okay, why is this retard? So, if you ever want to check, well, okay, you'd have to have your plane built first, I guess. Hmm. Uh, there should be a display function, and it displays, like, what you're currently doing on each of the channels. Interesting. How do you confirm? Uh, I usually just hit OK, but yours is slightly different. Yes, it is. Mine actually doesn't let me access all of the... Okay, I'm not gonna fuck with that then. Ooh, display. You know it always helps a lot, Patrick. Huh. The manual? User manuals, yeah. <laughs> Did you just... Oh, cool! I found we the display. fucking broke everything. Ow. <laughs> I just cut my hand. You okay? Yeah, I accidentally throttled up and then the plane flew off the desk into my hand. How bad is the cut? Yeah, it's just light bleeding. Ox channels. <laughs> it's just light fucking arterial bleeding. Yeah. So aux channels is to set up those switches and the knobs. Interesting. Okay, my plane is fine, so sub -trim. I'll just turn this off. Uh, sub trim is uh, like say you can't get your rudder to be perfectly center with the servo because, like it, the servo is a gear; it doesn't yeah, quite go there. You can sense. sub trim it to like always be like slightly at like one percent, and that makes it centered. 
What is dual rate slash exponential? Okay, so uh, it's like the curve of the throttle input. Yeah. So you can change it. So like, uh, why don't you we, can have... we change one, two, and four? I don't know. Oh, because it doesn't let you change throttle. Whoa. So one is the ailerons, two is the uh, elevator, and four is the rudder. I understand. It shows me a little display of what it does. Yeah. So basically I can make it so it has a different... Like, response to your input. That's y freaking neato. Yeah, so it's usually good if you put the expo pretty, like, negative to start with. Whoa, okay. There's more... <laughs> There's more setting and there's more settings. Throttle yeah. curve. Hello? Yeah. Oh there right. we go. Just just keep the throttle curve linear. <laughs> yeah. Mixes. Mixes is really fucking cool. It's where you can mix different channels together. So that's how like if you use two servos for your ailerons, yeah. You would have to use mixing. Oh, so you'd have so, like this is masters channel one slave is channel two kind of thing yeah except uh like my master is channel one which is aileron and uh -huh. then the slave is channel six which would be the second aileron okay i got you yeah oh then okay so it's oh so you can enable and disable it oh there's offset and everything yeah oh my god so uh elevon yeah, so unfortunately, if you want, uh, if you want flaps, you have to use all three of the mixed channels. Uh-huh. Makes sense. But, like, I use one of the mixed channels for, uh, differential rudder. So it would sort of suck ass. Like, I wouldn't be able to have differential rudder and flux. And flaps at the same time. Throttle hold? What is that? It holds the throttle, come on. Value 50%. I'm not gonna touch that. Yeah, don't watch it just turn on. Well, for you, it wouldn't be bad if System you just turn on. Select. For your safety, please turn off the receiver first. I'm fucking. Whoa! Can you name him? Yeah, so. So the model select is really cool. Because. So you can have your transmitter bind it to 20 models at the same time. And you just switch the model to change. Oh, fuck you. Um... Are you You still there, Trevor? You... Yeah, I'm here. Dip shit. Sorry for leaving for a bit. I heard somebody shit on the floor. No, I'm so Oh, I was... Fucking broke it! Breaking shit, god damn! I said you! Why would I talk to myself? Kinda crazy. Yeah, you so I gotta I gotta worry about it. You don't gotta worry about shit but yourself, bro. So uh I think I know why my ESC is different. Why? Because of the telemetry. But no. The, the ESC didn't come with the transmitter. Oh, you're right. I'm retarded. Yeah. So, my receiver is different then. It is. Your receiver is different than mine. Mine but, uh, has a sensor input. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours has one. So, has sensor and servo inputs. Yeah, well, yeah. You... No, no, like two extra ones. Well, yeah, you have more channels than me. Your well, remote no, no, has. No, no, no. Like, uh. They're listed as iBus. Yeah, I told you that when you asked what the difference was between. I don't our... know what this means. <laughs> iBus is a very compact form of data transmission, so it's like one wire can send the controls for like ten servos. Okay, gotcha. It's um... my uh my transmitter system settings has an RX setup. Yeah. Where I can enable a failsafe. I don't know what that does. Fail RX safe. battery. Okay, failsafe oh. is, uh, failsafe is if you lose, uh, if the receiver loses signal from your transmitter, what does it do? Oh. 
and it usually crashes. you want it to turn off the motor so it doesn't keep flying. I'm blocking your access <laughs> to the facility I, uh, scanner. Come to the Vega terminal. Okay, so mine lets me change it every need. channel so I can set it to like the alien runs zero out. And then the like elevator pitches up a little bit. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. There's also. Oh yeah, mine has a battery alarm sensor built in. Does it? Uh, yeah. Does it tell you like a numerical value for the? Yeah, internal sensor low alarm and high, and each one has a voltage. So right now low is set to four, alarm is set to four point two, and high is set to five. Does it tell you your current voltage on your battery? Uh. Oh no. Yes. Yeah, and it's probably around 5 something, isn't it? 4.97. Is your current one? Yeah, 4.97. It says int v1. I'm assuming that means internal. Yeah, so uh, the output from the ESC through the servo wires should be around 5 volts. I don't know what the range is for that though. It uh it has a voltage controller. Well, I mean, yeah, it is a voltage controller, but, uh, like, the the servo connector in the ESC is what provides...
I, I, you know, I heard it and it didn't register. <laughs> okay, it's really easy to ignore your brother. Ah, it looks as it should. Yeah, it's maxed out 1080. Although the I'm only streaming at 720. Where did I get? Does Fly Sky have a website? Uh, yes. Is it ours? You can't, you can't order stuff from them. Oh, are you looking for the manual? Mm, that, or to see if there's a firmware update. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't be important. I like to be up to date. That's fair. Uh. There's the i6s, what do I have? I have the X. You'd have to get... There's a special cable you need for updating. It came with it. Did it? Yeah. Wow, I fucking... I should've ordered that one. <laughs> I didn't fucking know at the time. I had to order the cable separate. It was like $10. The PS2 to USB? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Because I wanted to use it to, uh... Play KSP with, too. Oh, <gasps> no way. Yeah. Oh, I'm hyped. <laughs> Oh, well, we know where the patcher's going. The, uh, the cable to update firmware for my controller isn't the one you need to be able to run it as a controller on Windows. Oh. Like, they are separate. Oh, man, mine probably doesn't let me do that either. So I ordered the wrong fucking one, so I couldn't even play KSP with it. I was so sad. I was like, well, now I just have this cable I'm never going to use, because I'm probably <laughs> never going to update firmware. Because it's hard to update firmware on the receivers. That's really cool that mine gets telemetry. Yeah, yeah, I wish mine was two way. But I'm probably just gonna get a Tenaris when I have money. Language? I'm gonna strap the motor to my desk and put a propeller on it and call it a day. <laughs> My propeller is my shit. My desk will be my plane. Exactly. My father used to always tell me, you can make anything fly if you put enough power to it. Yeah, look at the fucking space shuttle. Oh my god. It's a brick thing. Yeah. It's a boat. It's, a, it's technically a lifting body. It's a boat. No, it's fucking not. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. They can say that all they want, but it's fucking not. <laughs> Lifting body with the uh, quotation marks around it. <laughs> Just because most of the lift comes from the body doesn't mean it's a lifting body. Each transmitter is capable of receiving data from temperature, altitude, and many other types of sensors. Yeah. Cool. Whoa. Oh. Uh, Trevor. Yeah. Did you see that in the stream? No. If not, try backing up like. What the fuck did you just do? I I don't know. Because it just Whoa! happened. Whoa! I can, okay, that's reproducible. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so if I spin this motor, am I gonna turn it into a generator? That's weird. Technically, that's how motors yes. work. Yeah. <laughs> so I always wondered: is there any like harm to just spinning it a lot? No. Um, uh, well, it depends okay. what the other end is connected to, really. Well, it's not connected to anything. Well, also really. mechanical wear. But... Please, it's, it's a bunch of magnets. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, there's fucking bearings connecting the shaft to the body too, though. And bearings have a set life cycle. It has an bearing. No, it has two. How did you do that? What did I do? You did it twice. What, what happened? He, like, flew across the fucking... Well, teleport is probably a better word. Get me the fuck up out of here. Basically, Doom Guy was just like, fuck this shit up. Out. My dad went to high school with him. What? Yeah. Doom Guy? No, Mark Cuban. Really? Yeah. That's kind of interesting, actually. Yeah. Your dad was an asshole in high school. Has the scars on his fucking knuckles. My hand's still bleeding. <laughs> oh, watch out! Watch out for the propeller, Patrick. What did I do? What propeller? I have no idea. Stop fucking with it before you get yourself upset. I on bought a jet engine. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I I really want to get an EDF. Right, wait, 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 wait. Is that what they're called? Well, uh, 
EDFs are uh, electric duct fan. Oh. They sound like jet motors, but they're electric. That sounds. It's electric. Fun. They're dude. They're, there's some really fucking cool EDF aircrafts. I want to get a 30 millimeter one, like pretty small. It feels like a glider. What are these spacers? You know, you can say what are these spacers, but I don't know which ones you're talking okay, about. Okay, the ones that came with the propellers. These black circles. Okay, that's, uh, you see how there's a... There's like a hole on the back side of the propeller where the shaft is that you can fit those into? Yes. That's to make it fit the the shaft. Oh, so which one do I need to use? Just fucking Pause. try to see one fits? Well, okay, so... Oh, I see it. I found it. You also have an adapter on the thing, so... Adapter where? The propeller hub for your, that came with the motor. Oh, like this. What? How does that work? You technically don't really need to put one of those onto the propeller because the propeller hub is pretty sturdy oh, on that motor. Oh, I see. So, did you see the propeller saver thing? That's the that guys use. That's Which what one? It's like a rubber band thing that you use to attach the propeller to the motor. Yeah, those are cool, but none of the motors I've ordered have those. I'm sure you could add it. Oh yeah, you, I mean yeah, but I have to buy it. <laughs> this is true. So how does... Oh. Oh, this just slides on? Do I have to, uh, like, tighten this somehow? Yeah, so send me a photo because... It... So... Ah, shit. So there's the metal axle thing. I get, I get yeah. how this holds on to it. Like there's the nose cap thing that you put the propeller in between it and, and the, then. and and then you screw the nose cap. Oh, okay. To I see. squeeze the propeller in, and then it pushes the propeller back, which pushes the back casing back. Yes. That okay. pushes yeah. the mounting together. Yes, yes. This all makes sense now. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Clever. Not spin while I'm trying to tighten it. It's pretty hard. I uh, I always use a uh, I use an Allen key and then I hold the propeller and use the Allen key to twist the nose. You want it? You want to make sure it's pretty tight. I've had the nose cap come off in flight one time. And then if it's spinning in a direction where it would <coughs> tighten it. Yeah, because the vibrations from the motor sometimes just make oh, it go off. That's true. You know, of all things, I don't have hex keys. Cool. Okay, so you know how you will those push rods? Oh! Use the push rods. Nice. I used to use those until I got the Allen key. Okay, you have you have an Allen key. Do I? Yeah, you got the linkages for the push oh, rods, right? did it come with it? Yeah, it came with the Allen key for that size. Fuck are they at? Ah! They don't just assume everyone has the exact size Allen key for that. I wouldn't be surprised, hashtag China. It's a really small size Allen key. Is it? Oh, fuck me. Yeah, you're right. Oh, hey, look at that. It's the same Allen key you used. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I used... The one that you used? Oh, I, never mind. Actually, it's not No, right. because I have... I have a, I have a multi-set Allen key that's like all on one ring thing. I used that. Fuck man, I really wanna... I wanna build it today. <laughs> so, I mean... I got the, all the electronics together and now I'm hyped. You need the foam board. I have it. Wait, do you? Yeah, I bought foam board. Okay. I bought it. Right. Make a plan first because... I was just gonna print it out. Yeah, so yeah, that, that's what I meant. Like, decide what you're gonna do. Oh, yeah. I was just gonna... Hmm. <laughs> the you the mean, F you got have suggestions. Yeah, so um I, I would honestly go with one of the flight I would go with one of the flight test planes because one, their plans are free. They also are very uh very friendly, like they have a specific build method, and they tell you what the build method is. Like they have just say it like it is. It's fucking idiot. No, I wouldn't say it's idiot, but it's pretty good. And uh, their planes are good too. Um, 
FT minis are cool, but... Oh, what's the size on them? Ooh, FT Sportster, that's pretty. Ow. So, you want to make sure that... Obviously, they're single engine. Because yeah. you only have single engine. Um, and the... Each plane, they recommend like a... It's a power pod range. Oh. And yeah, they yeah. have like... Well, yeah, and the motor. They they have them like categorized. Okay. So, so I should get. Demonic threat I have a quick question. Oh, hold on, How much can you plug into a wall socket before you? Open it? Depends on the fuse. So I should move to a it, wall socket before plugging more shit in. It's usually uh. Most fuses are 30 amps in the house, but they can go higher up to 60 or 80. Usually the 60 and 80 ones are on the line that the washer and shit's on. Let me just take a picture of what I'm 3S minimum, so not that one. <laughs> yeah. FT Bushwhacker. You know, either that or the old Foggy. <laughs> old Foggy look gross. <laughs> yeah, old Greg. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a slow flyer. Fuck, I should have bought a 3S. <laughs> that, okay, so that, that's how I felt because none of my planes would fly. I'm like, I need more power, I got a 3S and my planes fucking flew. Because oh. I was building my planes too big. Oh, dude, I am gonna build Old Foggy. <laughs> so, <laughs> old, like old Foggy? <laughs> old Foggy is a slow, like, park flyer, which is really good for someone who's never flown a plane before. Hey, 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 I've flown a plane in real life. Right. That, that's cool. what it looks like. It's also, it's also a trainer, because it doesn't have ailerons. Okay. Which is good. Because oh, it you don't have ailerons? Yeah, you can easily add them, but like... <coughs> uh, it, it means, like, it's good for trainers because it's a three-channel plane, not a four-channel. How hard is it to control? Pretty easy. I mean, I, I guess. Wait. Is that too much stuff? It, it's harder to start flying with a plane that has ailerons because you have more things you have to try to control. Gotcha. Yeah. If you print out the plans, uh, two to three hours. Oh, how do I print out these plans? Oh god. You're gonna have to make sure they're the right scale. Yeah, I don't know how am I gonna do that? I don't know how people do it, I know there's a way. <laughs> what? Hey, but this flies with the two cell. <laughs> and you wouldn't have the weight of the tires either because you don't have landing gear. Old speedster. Oh, this one comes with a tiled. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, so. Doing what? Maybe like. Don't print out the plans, but draw them pretty close. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking build one. Beatster needs a 3S. Fuck me, I'm ordering a 3S. Well, oh, yeah, I mean, I recommend having a 3S too, but, like, I, my planes can fly on both, so I, having two batteries means I can go out and fly longer. Uh, tell me more, tell me more. Hello? Did she put up a fight? <laughs> But I recommend printing out at least the, the plans, maybe not the scale, so you can see the cuts and the way you're supposed to cut. Because uh, notice how they say like B fold and A fold. Yeah, what does that mean? So look at the photo for the B fold versus the A fold. Uh, oh, 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 I see A fold. Yes. See how on one side the side folds are on top versus on the I B do. fold they're on the sides? Where's so that's how you would glue it. Oh. Wait. So, see how there's the space in the- Remember how I did the fuselage? We drew the 5mm lines and tore yeah. out that piece of the foam? And then we folded it over? Mm -hmm. That's where I learned it from, was from Flight Test. Watch the beginning of one of their, like, any of their videos on the DIY build. <laughs> and they'll explain what an A-fold, B-fold is. Okay. So Kevin, hola, senor. On a scale of one to no, how 
bad of an idea would it be to just turn on the, uh, the motor with the propeller attached? So you have it mounted to anything? The wires. Bad That's idea bad. because if, you're, <laughs> if your fingers slip, you can do what I did to my hand. <laughs> good point, good point. Um, Worst reasons. Counter, counter argument. Fuck you, I'm doing it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm. I, 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 can't, I see your counter argument. My counter with my other argument. Don't fucking do it! Says so, the person who's currently fist deep in wall outlet. So, yeah, Patrick. Much. Patrick, look at the EDF uh, plane. The what? The video I posted. Oh, is that one? Yeah. It's using a 28mm EDF? Jesus Christ. How much do those cost? About the same, but uh, uh, slightly more than the motor with ESC. Oh my god, I have access to a 3D printer. Wait, do you? Yeah. Dude, you can print the fucking motor mount that you can put between the foam board. You're right. I, that, I really want... I want a 3D motor to help me with a lot of my parts. Send me some plans and I'll burn them. Shit. <laughs> so you can get a. Okay, so some. I got a double check, but I'm like pretty damn sure I need to. I have access to it. I mean, like, I have access to one at school too, but it costs money. I don't think I need to. I think I paid for the, the ink. Stay committed. Not ink. <laughs> the plastic. Holy yeah. fuck. This guy almost killed himself. <laughs> what? He almost flew it into himself. So this guy, Chris Allen, he's really cool. He uh, he does a lot of EDF builds uh, and a lot of really cool ones. And he did a uh, F-17, like a yeah, scale like model it. that looks really fucking accurate. I need and a plane that's big enough to carry my gun. He also designed his own thrust vectoring system for the EDFs. Yeah, so for the GoPro, um, yeah, you'd want one that's slightly larger. My, uh, my last plane was large enough to fly a GoPro. I'm not sure if my current one is. It probably could, but... I mean, later on down the line, I'll just make a plane around the GoPro. Yeah, I mean, the... Honestly, the MT Foggy is... Probably has enough lift to carry a GoPro. Because those, yeah, those wings with that amount of camber and how light the plane already is, mm -hmm. you might need a 3S. Forever. <laughs> but GoPro weighs, yeah, probably. Is Trevor's how much? Ooh. I am. I'm not in your stream because. <clears throat> It occurred to me that I'm probably overloading the circuit and I'm very cool. So I decided to kind of split everything so my computer is currently off. What all do you have plugged in? Fucking look at the picture! Oh, you have a picture. Yeah. So, uh... Patrick, which huh. GoPro do you have? Hero 4 or 5. Okay, and do you have the housing on it? I can or cannot. Okay, with the housing it weighs 147 grams, without the housing it weighs 83 grams. There's no way the housing weighs that much. Where'd you post the Apparently it does. Time? Where the fuck is in the housing? Thick. Oh wait, thick. it's on my selfie stick. In where? Falcon thick. Oh, okay. Just because I figured that's where everybody would be able housing to see it. Housing is a piece of plastic. Falcon thick is planes and space only, Nibba. Is that a UPS? Kill it yourself. Okay, that is I too easy. understand it. Let me kill yourself. So, um... Yeah, 83 Fuck grams... Even 147 grams isn't too much. Yeah. I mean... It would mean that you'd probably have to fly it at a higher throttle to be able to keep it up. Hey. I mean... Or like, increase the size of the wings. Trevor, like... If you... Do you have access to any other plugs? Yeah, I just wanted to keep everything under my desk because it would make it look neater, but I do have access to other plugs. Because, like, what if is... you can run an extension cord to another plug and just plug one of the UPSs into it. 
replugging you're, all this you're stuff. You're splitting the load across two different fuses, and you should be fine. <laughs> I know. Hey, I was starting to put in my. I I asking it. people to play duos with him. Yeah. Somebody play with me. One of my friends. My fucking phone, all my shit on my desk, and I started to think. Oh, this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. Demonic presence reduced to minimum levels. Lockdown. Disengaged. Oh shit! Turbine. Three points. Three points. Yeah. The point. It's uh. Um. It's Dave Chappelle asking CK Lewis. Oh, he's in there. He went. Louis CK. Yeah. CK Lewis. <laughs> as he's known. <laughs> to to the girls, right? That that's like his. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, his, and uh, the plant for that matter. And the plant. Yeah, you heard about that, right? No, did he jerk off into a plant? Yeah, in front of other, in, in front of girls. Oh yeah, and he asked for it. Yeah. Um... Granted, I'm they said no. They could have said no. I think I'm gonna just design my own plane. Uh... Why did he get in trouble for it? Well, uh, uh, because they're underage, nigga. Well, they weren't underage. He's not oh. a pedophile. Oh. Um, yeah, that's what no, I it's assume. because like he was essentially their boss, and he would ask it. And like when, oh. when you're somebody's yeah. boss, it's really inappropriate because of the power dynamic. Like, do you think by, but like if you're somebody's underling and it, like your boss Under. asks you to do something, are you going to not do it if you want to advance in the company? So that's like the main problem. With it. Okay, I am. I didn't read too much into it. All I heard was not to really the chick. But yeah, it's not the worst thing, and at least he came out and admitted it and wasn't like. Uh, no, I didn't do that. Suck my ass. The thing so, is, like, that would have been my response. He jokes about how horrible a person he is, but they're not jokes. Huh. I bought so, a ruler. Yeah, you need one. I I, I bought a uh, 45 centimeter ruler when I wanted to start building planes. Well, I bought Patrick, a. Patrick, don't you have like a four inch ruler? Hey, fuck off. <laughs> I bought a 36 inch ruler. Oh my god, this ruler doesn't have centimeters. Oh. Uh, well, that's... you. Oh, never mind. Uh... Oh no, they're not on the bag. What the fuck is this? Michael's <laughs> bullshit. 